Last year, Gazprom claimed they would be at full capacity by 2025. Given the current climate, do you think this is still a realistic expectation or could we perhaps expect to see that fall further back? Well, you know, well, that's a good question. <laughs> you know, I, I, I think there's still a chance. Uh, you know, certainly they should have the two trains running by then. And, and uh, but, uh, you know, I think a lot depends on whether the uh, contracts that they've signed to sell their healing, whether those are disrupted in some way uh, by the uh, current politics. And, uh, you know, I guess if, if I, I think that in the long run, more will probably still be what it was expected to be, which is three trains producing, uh, you know, two BCF of helium or thereabouts. Uh, but uh, between now and and there, <laughs> there is a lot of uncertainty about how, you know, what the, the roadmap is for getting there. But yeah, I, I, I think there's tremendous uncertainty uh, in the market. But again, it, you know, it's the uncertainty is we kind of know what this year is going to be right now. I mean, this year is going to be a shortage year. And somewhere out there in the future, maybe 2024, uh, you know, more should be uh, producing what the other projects uh, should come into the market. But the real big uncertainty to me right now is, is what's 2023 look like?